Y'all, Dan got up this morning and said, he was standing there talking to me, and he said, um, you know, my, I, like, my eyes are blurry, but only on one side. And I said, what do you mean? And he said, like, it's, uh, like, this eyeball is blurry over here, but this eyeball is only blurry over here. And I thought, wow, that sounds kind of scary. So, the longer, like, a little, not much time, just a little bit of time passed. And he said, you know, it's not blurry. It looks like water's running down my eyeball. Like, water's running down over here and water's running down over here. He says, it's really weird. It's all on this side of my head. So, immediately, I think stroke, you know. And, um... So, he, we wait around, I, I Google, and, you know, I'm reading all the things that it could be, which, you know, it could be something really serious, and it could be nothing. I mean, it's obviously not nothing. It's something, but it, not nothing, like nothing as in not health, seriously, seriously affecting his health or whatever, however you really want to say it. So, a few minutes later, he said, it's gone. It, I don't, it's, it's just, it's just gone. So, I said, but how do you feel, like, in every other way? And, uh, it, fine. He said, I feel completely fine in every way. So, he messaged his friend, who is a uh, pharmacist, and asked him, like, w what should I do? You know, this is what's going on. What should I do? He said, well, I think you're, you'll be fine. You know, just carry on whatever with your day. But, if it comes back or gets worse, you know, anything like that, obviously go have it checked out. Or if you're concerned, go like take your blood pressure because I forgot to say that when he went to the emergency room for that wreck, uh, that wreck that he was in, his blood pressure was like 163 over 108. But they didn't say a word about like not one word about his blood pressure, and that's really high. But they didn't say a word. There's a family sitting across from me right now talking, like I'm talking. Anyway, um, so I message, I text our doctor because we're friends with our doctor, so I can text her. And so I texted and I said, "Hey, Dan said he's he feels like he it's like water running on the left side of his left eyeball and the left side of his right eyeball." Anyway. I said, but he feels fine in every other way. We're just wondering, is he just old? And that's just, you know, something that happens as you get older. Or is this something we need to be concerned about? And they get back with me right away. Because she's doing like telemedic visits or whatever. And I, I think she must do them on the phone. Like FaceTime. You know what I'm talking about? So, she, that's what she was doing. She was telemedic. She was doing telemedic visits. So, when she answered, she said... This is very concerning because he was in that wreck. I want him to go get checked out. And I said, as in you want him to go to the ER right now? And she said, yes, right now. If this is something serious, time is of the essence. So he was at work. He had already gone to work. And uh, he went to Walmart and had his blood pressure checked. And it was like 123 over 76. So that was fine. So anyway, we, Clay and I, as you can see, and Callie, are sitting in the parking lot at the hospital. We dropped him off in emergency, and so we're just sitting here, and we're literally the we're the th there's two cars beside us, and then the helicopter landing. The helicopter just came in and landed. I tried to get it on video, but my phone was in my purse, and I had to dig it out, and that took forever. It just landed, and y'all, the poor man they took out of it, he was going, oh, my leg, oh, my leg. So, that made me sick at my stomach, because you know he was in pain. I was like, oh, my God, poor man. So, that's where we are at the moment, and we will update when we know more.
Well, I just talked to Dan. He's been here about an hour and he's in a room hooked up to a whole bunch of stuff. So that's the update. We've cranked the car so Clay could charge his phone. I know it's crazy how fast your battery goes down. We were both watching stuff, looking at stuff. Excuse me. And, um, yeah. That's all we know so far is he's hooked up to a whole bunch of stuff. Machines. Yeah. yeah. We'll check back in later. Okay, guys, it is many hours later. They ended up keeping Dan uh, in the hospital. Got something right there. Yeah, they ended up keeping Dan in the hospital. He, um, they put him in one of those like fast pass. I'm probably calling it by the wrong name. It's a room where they they anticipate them being there for 23 hours or less. So, um. They were thinking that he'd had a stroke, and um, they did a, a CT scan, which showed no active stroke. They they said it was just uh, to see the carotid, like if, if blood was moving through the carotid uh, artery, I think is what that was for. You know, I mean, we're obviously very thankful for the... Um, medical industry, but they're not really forthcoming with their ex explanations, you know, and it's a whole bunch of just waiting, and I understand y'all, COVID, the whole nine yards, I get it, but when you're, you know, when you're anxious about what's going on and what's, you know, going to happen and stuff, you would kind of like a little bit more of explanation, but whatever, they've been great so far, then they, um, said they wanted to do an MRI to see if he's got a, like a stroke, uh, like a blood clot or something that, like it's a stroke uh, trying to happen. So they did that MRI before I left today. I actually ended up going, um, I went, in, you know, Dan, you know, messaged and said, please come in here. So, you know, he's, he wants that, like he don't get um, like, not upset, but like anxious or whatever. But it, everybody does. And so I went in and I waited while he had the MRI done. And I was there when he come back from having the MRI done. And, of course, you don't you don't learn anything. They finally got him in a room, I want to say about 10 tonight. We got there at like 2, I think around 2. And about 10 o'clock tonight, they got him in a room. So, um, I've talked to him tonight. Y'all, he's beside himself. <laughs> Dang it. We're all, we all have our little habits that make us crazy. Dan dips, uh, skull, snuff, whatever, you, not snuff, but like, 
it's not skull, but it's like, you know, you know what I mean? Like Copenhagen, uh, what is that? Tobacco. He dips tobacco. And so when I called him, um, he's like, Man, I said, have they given you something to eat yet? And he said, no, but they said he can't have anything to eat. And he said, I wonder why. Well, I'm sure that's in case. They said if it, um, if it's something small that they can treat, like I believe with medicine, then they'll do that. And if it's something that can't be treated with medicine, he'll have to have surgery. So that's why I'm sure they are not letting him have anything to eat because they don't really know what they're dealing with yet. So he couldn't have anything to eat. And uh, he said, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get a sleep, get to sleep without a dip. That's how he, y'all, he puts a dip in his mouth and like he gets real sleepy or whatever. And y'all, he had his CAT scan done with a dip in his mouth. Uh, he still had it in his mouth. And uh, he said, when he was just to get ready for the MRI, he said something about having a dip in his mouth. And I'm like, Dan. So I made him spit the dip out before he went for his MRI. But yeah, oh, y'all. And I, I want them to tell him to stop that, that he needs to quit doing that. But And he said today, he said, I'm not going to quit dipping. And I'm like, oh, you keep saying stuff like that. You're going to have to eat those words. So... Anyway, that's where it stands. It's about 11. I got home. I got Clay something to eat on the way home. And uh, uh, he ate went straight to bed. And uh, we're going to get... And Callie did too. Callie ran in here and got on the bed and went sound asleep. Bless their hearts. But um, I'm going to... Uh, I've got Dan some clothes laid out. Because, uh, you know, he went there straight from work. So... And he, he said, I feel gross. I want to shower. And so I'm going to take him a fresh set of clothes so that he can, I guess, so he can get a shower first thing in the morning. I don't know. I want to try to be there in time for the doctors to make their morning rounds. So we're going to get up about 530 and uh, run in and see if we can't be there by the time. I want to be there by 7. Surely, hopefully, if I'm there by 7, they won't have made their rounds yet. So, anyway, that's where it stands right now, guys. Uh, we don't know what's going on. They, uh, Dan asked, he said, do you think this could be COVID-related? Because we've all had headaches. And uh, they said no. And I, because, you know, like, we're texting. I'm out in the car with Clay. Dan's in there in the emergency room. And I was like, ask him to test you for COVID. I mean, it can't hurt, you know. Hasn't been tested for COVID. I mean, it's just, it blows my mind. You know, they go from testing, you come in there with a stump toe, they go, oh, you got COVID, to now going, nah, it's not COVID. I don't know. I don't know. So, uh, we've all had headaches. I literally just took, uh, I bought two bottles of Excedrin last night when I went to Walmart because we've all had headaches. Dan hasn't. Dan had one headache. Um, today is... Thursday, so I'm going to try to edit this and get it up. Well, I don't know. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll wait until we hear like what we're going to hear in the morning and and add that in in the morning before I upload this. But um, Dan had a headache like maybe Monday. I don't remember what day it was, but he woke up with a real bad headache, but that was it. He's not had a headache anymore. But we've all had like a, a nasal congestion, no fever, no dizzy, no. I have had nausea, but you know, I deal with nausea all the time anyway. So we can't go by my symptoms. But uh, th that's it. We've had no other symptoms like no fever, no dizziness, no nothing, a headache. And that's it. So, But I've had a headache off and on. Like I had a headache for about three weeks and then it quit for a few days and then it started back up. So kind of sounds covid -y to me. Uh, I don't really necessarily want to be tested because they're not going to really, I mean, what can they do for me? Absolutely jack. If I get sick enough, I'll go to the hospital and then they'll take care of me. But there's really not, I mean, who cares if I know that I've got it? I, I don't want to say who cares, but you know what I'm saying? Like, what's it going to, what purpose is it going to serve for me to know for sure if I have it? I don't leave the house anyway, other than like I might run to Walmart once every two weeks uh, to get groceries. So I kind of um, isolate anyway, so. Yeah, I don't know, guys. I don't know what to do. I'm tired. I'm fixing to jump in there and take me a shower, wash my old mop. Y'all, I went up there with this crazy hair. I had no intentions of getting out of the car. So when Dan said, can you come in here? I was like, oh, dear God. I look like, <laughs> I was like, I'm so embarrassed. But you know, you do what you got to do. So I'm going to jump in there and take me a bath, wash my hair, and uh, get me a little bit of sleep and head back to the hospital first thing in the morning. I'll see y'all then, guys. All right, guys, we are back up here today. 
I thought <clears throat> if I got here early, we would catch the doctor. Normally, the doctors make their rounds before they go to the office. So we got here. Uh, I got Clay up at 5.30. I didn't sleep a wink. I never went to sleep last night. That's why my hair's fixed. I took a shower. And when I realized I just wasn't going to sleep last night, I thought, mm, might as well do my hair because I'm not going to go to sleep. Excuse me. So, um, they, what we, when I finally asked, because I got here at 7, and, um, I finally asked, I said, is, he was fine, felt fine all night. He did have, like, a really low blood pressure at one point. They had to come in and check on him because his blood pressure, I'm not as, not his blood pressure, his heartbeats were so low. I can't remember what he said. So, but other than that, he's felt fine. And, um, so finally I asked, like, what time can we expect the doctor to come around? And, uh, she said, he usually runs, uh, his, um, uh, does his rounds between 9 and 11 and I was like oh my god and we got here at 7 so I've been sitting up there with Dan Clay's been down here in the car with Callie and I knew Clay forgot his phone at the house so I gave him my phone and I was using Dan's in the room Dan's had gone dead so I had to bring a charger for his phone it was a mess so and I, I told Dan just now, I said, I bet Clay, the battery, because I knew about my phone, uh, if you're playing on it or watching something, it usually lasts about two hours. So, I said, I need to run down there because I bet the phone is about to run out. And sure enough, he had 9% left when I got down here. But, uh, he had no episodes through the night. He's been fine. We are just waiting uh, on the doctor to tell us what the MRI showed and they talk like he's gonna get to go home and uh, she said uh, expect to be checked out about lunch or a little after so and it's uh, 20 till 10 now so I think everything I mean I don't know I personally think this is probably maybe COVID related because I mean there's no other explanation and I, I was looking online last night and it that was kind of one of the symptoms anyway I don't know we'll see what the doctor says when he comes around and uh, it looks like at this point they're just gonna send him home with a I don't know that's what we're hoping I don't know what the, the MRI is gonna show but we'll see so that's where we stand right now we don't really have any more news but um, I don't know if I'm going to go ahead and post this or wait or uh, pro probably wait. So anyway, that's a, an update at this time. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's, he, he turned it off 45 minutes and then he turned it off. Oh, keeping, yeah, yeah. Y'all, yeah. literally as I sat back down to tell y'all that, look who called and said, come in there and get me. So they said that, uh. They couldn't find anything. This must be left over from that wreck he had. So, we're glad. I, I'm like thrilled that, cause you know, nobody wants to have a stroke. So that's where we stand. I am going home. I didn't sleep a wink last night. I'm gonna sleep. Nancy's going to work. Yeah, he needs to take, he needs to sleep too cause he didn't get no sleep either, but we'll see.